Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So today, of course, as you can see, I figured I would review yet another horror movie, because that's what I do quite often on this channel, review horror movies. So, of course, I'll just do that again here, because as far as I'm concerned, Halloween is a year-round thing. Oh, definitely. So, okay, the feature I'm going to be talking about today is the one titled House of Good and Evil. More like House of Bullshit, but whatever. Uh, okay, so of course, again, I bought this at the dollar store. Again, yeah, no, I keep doing that, of course. So here we are, obviously. This is an example of what I have an issue with a lot of recent horror movies nowadays, because it's like they're not even trying no more. Not really. At least the vast majority of them anyway, because there are some exceptions to the rule of this, obviously. But still, though, they don't have the same charm. It just seems like very tired. It's very <sighs> watered down in some ways because they're just too scared to take risks when it comes to originality or just anything for that matter. And then also, Mr. Monkey. Hey, get out of here. What are you doing in that store? Door. You're not buying anything, are you? Oh, Christ almighty. Whatever. So, wh whatever. I'll get back to you in a minute. So, anyway, of course, like always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So, here we go. Okie dokie. Anywho, of course, as you might expect, stuff will not go right at all. Stuff will not go right. But the my setting in this movie is that there was this husband and wife. Uh, they pretty much... Do a, do the thing because they move away from the city to this remote old house. Of course, an old place, this house setting. Obviously, of course. Like I said, it's, it's not very original. It's okay. It's been a, a remote kind of place, I reckon. It's just making more cliche, shall we? Oh, definitely. And, okay, what's going on here? What in the hell? What the? And, uh, of course, it's Monkey. What the hell? Hey, I'm gonna give me the finger. Okay, you you rude asshole. But like we're saying, folks, obviously that's gonna be a thing here, of course. So anyway, this was viewed as a way to create a new fresh start after a recent tragic experience. That they moved into this house, uh, this site. But the unforeseen side, of course, and to make matters even crazier, their fresh star dream house is not actually all theirs. Because of course, of course, of course. Anyway, not only that, it's pretty much a duplex kind of a thing being shared by this dysfunctional couple that will leave you with a sense of dread and wondering what type of crazy thing they may or may not be up to. Of course... Literally, these individuals have to survive this situation. Eh? Mr. Monkey, what are you doing? Get out from that store. Go and get. Leave that store. You're not going to get anything anyway. Ugh, I guess deal with them in a second, I guess. Anyway, back to what I was saying here. It's also the fact that uh, the main character, the wife, or whatever she's supposed to be, did have a miscarriage. So there's like a whole pregnancy thing. That does come into this story here, which of course is actually kind of sad, of course. And that kind of thing does happen in real life, by the way. So you think everything's going to all swell and whatnot. But boom, look, it just takes a huge left turn on. There you go. So it makes you feel kind of bad for the character, I guess you can say. And there's nothing inherently wrong with trying to get some sympathy for the main character and whatnot. Or main characters, as you say. That's fine. I just didn't think that this was all well written, really. Because ultimately, this was just pretty boring. This was supposed to be like one of these psychological horror thriller type movies, which, again, is fine. Nothing wrong with that. And the film does attempt to set a mood throughout the entire thing, which, again, I'm fine with. But, again, it just ultimately, I'm just bored. Really, at the end of the day, this entire thing was a snooze fest. Ugh, Christ, I don't know. It's like they had something, to some extent, I guess, but ultimately, it wasn't all that well written. And, what the hell? What's going on over here? 
Okay. Monkey! Hey! Did I tell you to go and get? Okay, what are you doing? Hey! Oh, I see. That's highly improper. You're not supposed to do that. Hey! Monkey! Oh, okay. That spells ass. Oh, okay. That's really rude. Oh, boy. This, this, this monkey is swear. Ugh. Anyway. I think Alfred's around there somewhere, I think. I think Alfred's around there somewhere. Fanboys. Yeah, maybe that's why Alfred went to that store. To get something for the fanboys. Oh, yeah. That that has to be it. Oh, definitely. That, that makes logical sense there. Uh-huh. So, anywho, yeah, there's this couple and they're pretty much in a last ditch effort to save their dying marriage. Purchase this isolated home, of course, in the deepest woods, of course, to which they quickly discover, uh, let's say, evil has a key. Why? Because, of course, of course it does, obviously. So, anyway, but that's definitely is something that's. A thing in this movie for whatever reason. One of the things that is, that does surprise me, not in a good way, is that it's how little something happens. Really, it feels so slow. And the pacing is painfully slow, at least with me anyway, because there's nothing of interest. And yes, of course, just so you know, there are several parts in the movie where the music builds up and builds up and up and up, as if something spooky is going to happen. Then boom. Nothing happens whatsoever. Like, what the hell? Ugh, Christ. So, you're trying to build the tension just to automatically slap you in the face with it. That doesn't make any sense. Like, whatsoever. But, okay, whatever movie. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the script writers, the producers, everybody involved, I'm sure their intentions were pure. I'm sure they were all intent. Don't get me wrong. And then they have, maybe they. We're having the best intention to make a good horror film. film. Unfortunately, it fell flat. Oh, Christ almighty, I don't know anymore. Jesus. Hey, monkey! Damn it! What are you doing? Okay, just get... I told you to get out of there already. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to call Alfred. She's, she's probably around there somewhere. Anyway, but like I was saying, folks. <sighs> but yeah, it just ultimately... This film fails in... Almost every account that it was attempting to establish, uh, pretty much of everything. The the thing is that uh, the music score is probably the best part of the movie. I know the musical score was really attempt to make it spooky. The musical score is actually quite decent, actually. Because in the music, it actually attempts to make some sort of attempt to set the mood, to make it suspenseful. But as for everything else, not really. At all. Like, damn it. Ugh. All the good aspects, like I can say about the film, like, there's some decent choreography in the right entire thing. And the music was decent as well. And all that. There's some decent angles and whatnot. So all the halfway decent things I can say about the film are actually all ruined by the fact that this movie is painfully slow. And what little does happen is boring. It's not interesting at all. That monkey. God damn it, Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey, what are you doing? Are you trying to reach an item? Okay, you can't have it, you know. You don't what money do you have anyway? You broke a shit. What is wrong with you? Uh, let me just try to finish this up here. Right. Attempt. So yes, of course, if this movie was intended to be a slow burn. It's right in here so bad, I, I don't even know. So it just comes off unintentionally slow. Anything about it? I don't think that was even their attention. I mean, okay, if it's purposely a slow burn, that would have been fine, I guess. But there's a key thing that is missing here. The characters are not interesting. None of the characters are very interesting, even though I do feel kind of bad because of the whole pregnancy thing, like we said earlier. And... Yes, of course, the husband character is trying to make the most of a bad situation, which is honorable, and trying to save the marriage and save the relationship. Again, very honorable. That's fine. Uh, what the hell? What are you looking at? You know damn well you can't afford any of this. 
Let's go somewhere else, okay? To look in a different spot. Okay. You can't afford that all. Like over here, for example. Okay, this looks one of the more cheaper items, I guess. But I doubt you could afford that. Well, what are you doing? Are you going to grab it? Okay, you're just trying to run away. Okay. <sighs> anyway, but like I was trying to say, folks. I mean, the characters, I just want to help each other out. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, really. There's nothing inherently wrong. We're trying to help each other out when you're struggling emotionally, of course. And it's not that this couldn't work, of course. There have some bits and pieces I could actually help out to make it more a better movie. Some kind of personal conflict, some drama thrown in. Sure, I'm up for that. And I'm not saying every single horror movie out there should have something like this, this kind of drama. Not necessarily. But if you are going to put something like this, some kind of interpersonal conflict with the main characters, and not just have some outer conflict, like ghosts or curses or whatever, and some other things going on within the relationship, sure. You can have everything else, sure, but don't make the interesting in the sense that you have some interpersonal conflict, but also have some outer conflict as well, just to complicate things, which I'm fine with, really. So this could have worked if it was more comfortable being made, and... I don't know, just, I don't know anymore. So, okay, ultimately, yes, like I said, there's cliches, but you could at least attempt to try to do something more original, maybe do a, a creative take on a cliche idea or something, I don't know. Yes, their whole cursed houses or whatever has been done to death, no pun intended. So this kind of thing has been done multiple times already in the horror genre. I've seen so many horror Films with very similar settings. So, this is nothing new whatsoever. So, I've seen quite a bit of stuff with a very similar premise. So, again, it just feels like this is run of the mill, and that's all this is. It's just a very cliche idea and whatnot. And just ultimately, what I'm saying is the, the writing. The writing of the story is, is what hurts it a lot, unfortunately. So, there's that, of course. And it just comes off like they're trying to stretch the film, really, because there's lots of f bits and pieces that does feel dragged out. And I was able to tell, really. And I don't know why a lot of people, a lot of these directors, don't even attempt to do anything new. Like they're lazy, I guess. I mean, even if they weren't lazy in this film, even this was, even if this was a genuine effort, it still fall flat. So I, I kind of feel bad. That just trash this film, but still. <sighs> Again, stuff like this is why I prefer a lot of the more low-budget, obscured horror movies from the past. Stuff like this is why I tend to not watch these very much. The more recent horror movies, I mean. Like, they're not trying all that hard. Even if they're all trying, they still fall flat. Like, in this case, for this for ex example. I'm just, I'm just done with this movie. It's just awful. And, okay. Hey, yeah, of course. Yeah, there you go. There's Mr. Monkey for you. Okay, there you go. Just grab him. Yeah, he's struggling. Oh, shit. He's struggling a little bit. There you go. Take care of him. There you go. See, I knew he had to be up there somewhere. Anyway, just, just, just wrap it up, shall we? Oh, yeah. So, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 4.8 out of 10. It gets a 4.8 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh, yeah. Later. That's it. I'm going to win these again. I need a cup of coffee from there anyway. Maybe get a hamburger or two. See ya. Oh, yeah.